What's good, everybody, and welcome back to the Las Vegas Reapers franchise here at MLB The Show 20. And before we jump into today's episode, it was brought to my attention that last episode, you know what I'm saying, the score jumped from 4-3 to three to 4-5, to five, and I missed out I missed out on two scoring plays. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you, those, show you guys those plays right now. Another pitch coming in. Chris Bryant in the gap. We're going to score Chuck Nasty. Chris Bryant may have three out of that. Almost the same exact spot. Charlie Blackman hit it. On your horse, Chris. On your horse. The throw is coming in down. Let's go. Way to tie the ball game up, Chris Bryant. He's fired up. RBI triple his second one of the year. Woo. Told you, man, we just had to get to this dude eventually, and the rest will put itself in place. Now we have another base runner just 90 feet away from Pater. Let's go, I Ian Desmond. Almost called you I Isaac Desmond. Oh, get down the line, Ian Desmond, baby. Give me two, kid. Give me two, 53 speed. Down, 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 down. See? We take the lead here in the bottom of the six, baby. Let's go. That a boy, fellas. Doing what we got to do. We finally were able to get to Lucchesi here, dog. He's been mowing us down this whole game. And now he doesn't know what he doesn't have anything to say for himself. As a, the, the catcher and the skip want to come out and talk to him. They're going to take the ball from him. Let's go. 12 strikeouts down the drain. All right, so now that you guys seen those plays, Checking in on the squad after 24 play games. Charlie Blackman is the leader in batting averages on our squad at 341. Scooter Jeanette at 328 with 61 ABs, 27 less ABs than Charlie Blackman. Trevor Story is only batting 284. We definitely want him to, you know, get that up a little bit. He only has two home runs, so his power numbers aren't that high, but he has 25 hits. And a 10, 10 run score, 14 RBIs. Chris Bryant, who started off a little slow, is slowly coming back up at 267. 23 hits, 13 RBIs, two home runs. Ramel Tapia, our leadoff guy. 263 average on base percentage, under 300. We definitely want to get that up with him being at top of the lineup. Home run leader, of course, is Joey Gallo with 10, followed by Blackman with four. And a bunch of people have two after that. Joey Gallo also leads us in RBIs with 22, followed by Blackman with 15, Story with 14, Bryant with 13. Take a look at the transactions we have going on within the organization, which is, you know, preparing us for the future and setting us up for success. So the first thing we did was option down Ian Desmond to AAA Albuquerque. You know what I'm saying? That put him on assignment waivers. And then what we did was we purchased the contract of Chris Owings, brought him up to the uh, to the major leagues, you know, recall him back up to the big leagues. Then what we did is we we're very deep in the catcher, in the catcher position here in this organization. So what we did was we went ahead and traded away catcher Tony Walters for second base prospect Simon Bond. And then from there, you know, Bond is going to be on the double A. And we, we called up Brett Boswell from double-A to triple-A. Elias Diaz, you know what I mean, has been recalled from triple-A up to the Major League squad in place of uh, of the uh, Tony Walters trade. Then what we also did, we moved uh, a catcher, Russell Hedrick, from class-A to double-A. Promoted Danny Rosenberg from class-A to double-A. Promoted uh, third baseman uh, Colton Welker from double-A to triple-A. Sent Drew Weeks from AAA down to AA and sent Manuel Melendez from AA down to Class A. <clears throat> so with some of those moves you got, so so with some of those moves you guys are probably wondering what these prospects are looking like. First, Danny Rosenberg, 18 years old, 69 overall, A potential. You know what I mean? He gets his reps in down there, down here in AA, slowly move his way up. He should be in the Bigs Club in no time. Then the second base prospect we traded for, Simon Bond, 18 years old, 62 overall. B potential. So those those two guys, along with Ryan Rollison and uh and Michael Taglia, are the four guys in double A that we are we are hoping really turn out to be the prospects we need them to be so they can come up and help the big league squad in the near future. Because those are positions, you know, starting pitcher we're pretty young at, but you know, first base and second base are two positions that we're pretty old at. And coming up to triple A. Our top AAA prospect, our top prospect in all of the organization, Brendan Rodgers. We went ahead and changed his position from shortstop to second base because Trevor Story is under 30. 
Uh, Brendan Rodgers, the only way he's going to see his way up into the big leagues within this program is on the other side of the middle infield at second base. Um, you know, here in AAA so far, not that great. Batting 178, you know what I'm saying? Eight runs, four home runs, six RBIs. But uh, we expect big things out of him. Also, you know, we're going to get some games in with these uh, with the minor league squads, you know, so we can go down and check on, check in on some of the players and everything like that. Uh, Colton Welker, who we also moved up from Double A, B potential, 22 years old, 67 overall. Then we also have center fielder Mike Gerber, 66 overall, B potential that we're looking to come up in this program. Eric Stamets, depending on uh, how he plays, he's another guy that we might want to move. You know what I mean? So for, for some more depth somewhere. Or maybe even a, a big league arm or, you know, a big league, extra big league bat, you know what I mean, or for, for the playoffs or something like that. Uh, Tyler Nevin is a guy that we we hope his potential can go up some. He is on the 40-man roster for now, but I definitely want to get Colton uh, Welker and Mike Gerber on the 40-man roster, you know, so we got to see who it is that we want to move around. We're sitting at 10 and 14, tied for third place in the division with the uh, Padres. Diamondbacks are 10 and 15, just a half game behind us. Dodgers are 20 and 5, and Giants are 13 and 12. So in theory, we could possibly finish second in the division. We're not really good underneath the best team. The Dodgers are going to run away with this division. So everybody else is just pretty much fighting for second place. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as the wild card goes, it's rather early. You know what I mean? We are not in the running, and I, I, I really don't see us being in the running anytime soon. Checking in on the injured list, we have... Uh, we had double. We have double A guy, uh, our Vincent Perez currently on the DL, you know, well the IL they call it now for one to two weeks with a shoulder strain. Hit another double A uh, closing pitcher Reed Humphreys broken arm one to two months. Um, he's not too bad. Want to get that potential up a little bit, but he's definitely not going to help with him not seeing the field. But he throws gas and he has a great amount of pitches to come out of the bullpen to shut a game down. Take a look at the top 50 prospects. Like I said, we have a few guys here on the list. We have first baseman Michael Talia here, you know what I mean, at number 25, 21 years old. Remember, he had the A potential. Expect big things out of him. And scroll down here again. Our, that pitcher that we talked about, Danny Rosenberg, 69 overall, A potential. We want to try to get a couple more of our guys on here, but even if they don't make the top 50 prospect list, we still know that they have big-time pro potential. All right, guys, here we go picking up in the top of the ninth inning on the road in Philly. I was playing a different type of... I was playing a different game, so let me take this off the zone and back on directional hitting. There's going to be a few different ways that we play here in this series. We're going to be doing player lock. We're going to be doing uh, critical moments. We're going to be doing some simming. Here and there, we'll play some full games. You know what I mean? Uh, when we get to the playoffs, we'll play complete full games. But throughout the season, I want to have very little say as possible in how the season goes. And since there's 162 games, there's no way I'm going to be able to play every single game possible. But we're trying to complete this comeback here. You know what I'm saying? And send this one to extras or even win it here in the ninth. Perfect person leading off. Pitch down the middle to Joey Gallo. And that one looks like it's going to die just before the warning track. Good swing, good contact. But that ball, we just hit it to the deepest part of the ballpark. KB up the bat here now. Three for four, two doubles, a single, two runs scored. Square it up with Joey Gallo. We just missed that pitch, guys. Here we go, KB. Get us going. Uh, easy take there. He does. He, he refuses to miss twice in a row. David Robinson is here on the mound for the Phillies, trying to uh, to close this one out. Need Chris Bryant to do his thing here, man. Oh, that pitch was up. We didn't make our mind up soon enough, so we're behind on it. Not a great swing at all. You see Chris Bryant changed his number from 23 to 18, trying to get as close to that 17 as possible. It's probably going to be his last number change, though. Ah, that pitch was left up, but we're just out in front of it. David Robinson is way ahead here. One, two count. We got to be tough with two. We got to protect. That one is a nice little knuckle curve, but it started at our knees, so of course it's going to just fall off the table out of the strike zone. 2-2 two, two count. That was down the middle, and we get up under it, popped up right behind 
third, second base, and that's going to be two dead here in the top of the ninth inning. All right, Trevor Story, we need you. He has one home run here today, three ribbies, two for four. Definitely working on that average. We need you to keep us going right here. They're guarding the line on him. Pitch right down the middle. It's the cutter, and we are out in front. Got to stay back. Keep them hands back, 2-7. Let's go. Ooh, we wait back on it this time, and it gets through the four-hole, baby. Let's go. We got ourselves a base runner here with two outs. Let's go, Trevor Story. Why to stay hot? That's a good piece of hit in there with two strikes. Story does have speed, so a ball in the gap can possibly tie this up with two outs. He's moving on contact. That pitch is left up, and Jeanette is just behind it. Oh, just early. Okay. We're still just early on it. Thought we were behind on it. Story on the move, inside pitch, and he is out of there. That's how the ball game is going to end. We took the bat right out of Scooter Jeanette's hands. He's not too happy about that, and we're going to lose this game 7-6. to six. So a lot of players had, had big games at the at the plate. Tapia 2 for 5, Murphy 3 for 5, 2 for 5 for Gallo, 3 for 5 for Bryant, 3 for 5 for Story, 3 for 5 for Scooter Jeanette. Who's, who we took the bat out of his hands. He had two ribbies. Um, you know what I'm saying? We had 18 hits, and we were and we still got a loss here. Home runs from Story, Tapia, and Jeanette. Marquez, our ace, well, was our, 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 our old ace, second pitcher in the rotation now, gets his third loss of the season, three and three. Gave up six earned runs on seven hits, only four strikeouts. All right, boys, here we are picking up top eight now. Ahead in the schedule against the Cincinnati Reds. Kyle Freeland has himself a shutout going on. Going to see if we can keep it up. Man on second, two dead. He's dealing. They can't hit him. He has a nice little hitch, and that ball is drilled to left field, and we have ourselves a tie ball game and then yo suarez takes him deep and that's going to be the end of kyle freeland's day here all right guys michael lorenzen is coming in out of the bullpen as we pick up here in the bottom of the ninth trying to win ourselves a ball game scooter Jeanette up the bat having a good season oh nice pitch there 96 cutter down and away Jeanette is five for nine with one strikeout against uh lorenzen in his career Mmm, slider low. Big, good pitch. Good eye. 3 2. Working ourselves a walk. Base hit ball four. It's all the same. We just need base runners here in the bottom of the ninth. Oh, we did not swing, but it does not matter as that changeup catches the black low and inside. Good pitch by the rings in there. All right, Josh Fuentes, we need you here, kid. That pitch is left up, but once again, we are out in front of it. Ah, way out ahead, way out in front again on the cutter away. All right, I feel like we sat back a little bit longer there, but I guarantee you they're going to sit. We were very early, very early on 93 miles per hour. All right, cutter away this time, 93. We'll worry early. Oh, my gosh. I thought I waited forever to swing at that. Good eye. We need a base runner. All right, 3-2. We work ourselves another 3-2 count. Dom New Year's on deck. Not having the greatest of years. Not that confident with him coming up the bat. All right, get up the box. Get up the box for Wintez. It's an easy play for the shortstop. Actually got close to beating that out. That one was inside. Would have been ball four, but it's too close to take. Dom Nunez, the catcher, three home runs, 14 ribbies, batting under 200 here on the day. I mean, on the on the season. Good take there. Fastball outside. All right, full count here once again. Oh, Nunez waits back on it, but he does not have the pop in his bat to get it over the outfielder's head, and that's going to do it for us here in the bottom of the ninth. All right, coming with the second pitch of the AB here. We miss our spot, but... With the wind blowing in, the ball is just going to hang up out in center. Tappy is under it. We got one dead. All right, Nick Castellanos up. Nick Castellanos up here for the Reds. Coming inside with a fastball. Up and in, missing our spot. He does not take the bait. We're going to try to hit him with the sinker away now. Beautiful pitch. Wasn't away, but it was low. At least we kept. At least we didn't miss up. Coming back with the sinker, lowing in. Missing our spot. 3-1 count here. 
Here we go, kid. Mmm, turned on that slider. Got him where we want him now. Sinker away. See ya. All right, we get a ground ball. Trevor Story, easy play. Two dead. Mmm, that is not where you want to miss, but we throw 97, so you can make a mistake here and there. Slider inside. Mmm, got to take that. Sinker away. Ooh, we miss up and in, but he does not want to take the bat off of his shoulders. Slider inside. Can we get him? Can we get him? See, ooh, he luckily got a piece of that. We're going to go with another slider. See, you. oh, we just missed. Just missed our spot. Joey Votto on deck. Not a person we want to see. Full count here for the Reds. All right. Just going to see if he can hit it. 97. Right down the pipe. Flies out to right field, and we get out of danger. All right, so the Reds bring Stevenson out of the out of the bullpen. We pinch hit Murphy for Pesos, who was in pitching. We're going to take the first strike. Got to see one. Now we're ready. Let's go, nine. Oh, yes, we did hold up. Thank you for calling that like you see a blue. Iglesias and Strope are both up in the bullpen. The Reds have a pretty good bullpen. Bottom 10 in the extras. Easy take. Let's see him. Let's make him come to us. That way we can get one and drive it. Oh, yes, sir, and that's going to do it. Perfect, perfect walk-off bomb for Daniel Murphy. Pitch, hit, home run, let's go. That's how you do it. Woo! Daniel Murphy with the walk-off bomb, baby. Let's go, old man Murphy. On his day off, he comes in and pitches for the pitcher and takes one deep that's gonna do it let's go man let's go baby that's how you win yourselves a baseball game dog the home crowd is hype it's completely turned on that one that was a missed pitch right down the pipe <sighs> hung that one baby let's go murphy that's what I'm talking about, kid. All right, so the team coming off the field. Today's player of the game looks like it's going to be Trevor Story. Although my player of the game is going to be Daniel Murphy. But Story had himself a good game, dog. And the Reds are going to leave here, headed back to their hotel. Not too thrilled. Trevor Story, player of the game. He was two for three. He was one for three with a home run, a, a RBI, stolen base, and two runs scored. All right, boys, so we're doing one last thing before we get out of here. We're going to, we're going to uh, player lock. A game with Brandon Rogers here. Six home runs, 12 ribbies, but he's only batting 173 on the on the on the year here in Triple A. That's he got called up. All right, here we go. Mmm, he tried to turn on that fastball there. <laughs> All right, here we go. 0 1. Good swing time in there. Just the pitch has to be in the strike zone. Here we go, Rogers. Ah, he tries to turn on that one. He beats it into the ground, and that's going to be an easy out for the pitcher. One to three ground out here in our first A-B. All right, here we are controlling Brendan in the field. He, you know, he does play shortstop for AAA, but his main position is second base, so he can be ready to be called up whenever. Can of corn for him just in the outfield grass, and we got one dead here in the third. All right, Brendan Rodgers up here for a second A-B in the game. 2-2 two -two ball game. Nobody on, nobody out. Lean this off here. Ooh, that pitch up out of the strike zone, barely. You know what I'm saying? Just early on it. Felt like it was a hittable pitch. Ah, tried to go the other way with that, but we're out in front. Lazy fly ball to the third baseman. Harris is having a tough day here at the plate. But you know what I mean? He can hold it. He can hold himself down here in his position. Fielding your position is a big part of getting to the big leagues. That ball is hitting the gap. Show off the arm, baby. Hey, let's go. Hell of a play made in the hole, and that's going to do it for us here in the inning. Brendan Rodgers is going to lead us off here in the six. Let's go. New pitcher, new meat on the mound, Ian Gardet. Not having the greatest of years. Brendan Harris isn't having the greatest of year or the greatest of day. 170 on the year. Does have six home runs, though. That's been saving him. He's been showing off his pop a lot. We're up two runs. All right, easy take. Finally, we take the first pitch out of the strike zone. You see here, we're sitting. Brendan Harris is second on the isotopes here in AAA with home runs. 
So you know what I mean? If you can hit for power for us, you know what I mean? We we'll, we'll, we'll sacrifice some some uh average numbers. There it is. That's a hard hit ball. Carry ball. Ah, it's going to die just before the Warner track. That was the best piece of hitting all day. And here he is back up again, bottom eight. Runners on first and third. Down a run. RBI opportunity. Could he be clutch to tie the ball game up here? There it is. Oh, stay fair. Oh, it's hooking. That was a double. You see, he's 174 with runners in scoring position this season. That was the pitch. We were just late on it, man. Ah, uh, did we hold up? We did not. We're pressing a little bit. We just got to put the ball in play and not hit into a double play. That's all we got to do, seven. Let's go. Get deep. That could be a run. Did we get the RBI? Is he sending them? He is. The throw was in, and he is safe. Brendan Rodgers does his job. Tying the game up here in the bottom of the eighth with two strikes on him. Hey, man, that's a productive at-bat. That's all we can ask for. Now we here we are, bottom of the six. Runners on first and second. Bottom of the tenth, excuse me. We're down six to five. Brendan Harris gets his fourth A-B of the game. Ah, we got to hold up there. A little too excited. A little too excited, guy. Come on, Rodgers. I know you're pressing it to your, your, your due here. All right, easy take. Fastball low in the dirt. Got to make him come to us. Got to be smart here. Here we go. Oh, the changeup got us out in front. All right, kid. Let's go, Brendan. Need you. Oh, good take. That was a tough take. That was a tough take. Way to stay on the pitch the whole way. 2-2. Two, two. Hit the ball in the gap somewhere, man. You can win this thing. 89 on first. All right. Good take. Full count. Hey, like I was saying, 89 speed on first. So, ball in the gap can win this ball game, man. Ooh, just out in front of the changeup. Let's go. That one could have been trouble down the line. Come on, kid. All right, easy take. And we work the walk. So, base is loaded here in the top of the ninth. Top of the tenth. Damn, I'm retarded. All right, boys. So, base is loaded. Bottom, tenth. A single scores two. Ah, uh, ball gets down. And they're going to get us out at second. But we do tie the ball game up. We couldn't just go because we would have we got doubled up. You know what I mean? I mean, that was a tough play for the shortstop. We went halfway, did what we were supposed to do. Easy play for him. All right, so we get another AB here. Runner on second, bottom 12. We can be the hero. Single wins the game. Oh, we try to wait back on the changeup. Still way far out in front. Over for 3 on the day with a sack fly RBI. Can we get another? Ah, uh, leave the change up low, Brendan. Come on, kid. You're pressing. I know you're due. We all know you're due. But you don't got you don't got to overswing or anything. All right, easy take, sinker away. Oh, that was the one. That was the one. Just we were late on it. Trying to hit it the other way. All right, good take, sinker in the dirt. Working this count more more to your favor. Now we're even here. All right, another easy take, change up away. They don't really want to pitch to Brendan Harris. He is the five-hole hitter for a reason. They're trying to pitch around him. They do not want him to win the game. They do not want him to beat him. Ah, we ground out to shortstop. Good time and good contact, but not enough. All right, we're in the field. This game, this game is a good one. Top 13 here at short. Easy, routine ground ball to Brendan. Good. Kai has some wheels. Bad throw. We got saved by the first baseman. That's going to get us out of the inning. All right. In the field once again. Runner on second. One dead. This ball is hit to the hole. We attack it. Across the body. What a play by Brendan Harris. What he's lacking at the plate today. He's showing off with his leather. Let's go. Bottom 15 now. 6-6 six, six ball game. 0-4 for four on the day. Got to hit the ball hard somewhere, man. They hang it, and we hit it in the six-hole. Absolutely drilled, baby. Let's go. We are the winning run, and we are on base. They hung that pitch. We stayed back on it and hit it hard where we were supposed to. We get our first hit of the ball game. All right, manager wants us to steal here. Slide step. Pitch was in the dirt. 
We're off in. They call us out. Maybe we shouldn't have went on the first pitch. We didn't get the greatest of jumps. And we ruined our opportunity there. He didn't slide the way I told him to slide anyway. If he would have slid out, he would have been safe. All right, bottom 17 here. Runner on first. We're getting a lot of opportunities to win this ball game, guys. Oh, we are late on that pitch. It's going to get down, though. Yes, sir. Brendan Harris with his second single of the ball game. Two for six, baby. Let's go. A little late on that pitch. He beat us. But you know what I'm saying? Inside, out on it, fighting it off, showing off the strength in the quick hands. All right. Not sure how it happened, but we do end up winning the ball game here at Extras. Drew Patera is your player of the game. Two RBIs, two hits, two runs score, and it looks like he had a home run. Uh... You know, we win in the next inning, in the 18th inning. We do put one run on it. On Zach Ross Cup gets himself a win. He's had himself a great month here so far. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, he's not the greatest, but he's holding it down here in Triple A. Taking a look at at uh, at Rogers, two for six with an RBI and a walk. You know what I mean? Not the greatest of games, but here late he got hits when he needed it. Um, you know what I mean? We missed out on a couple of opportunities to possibly win the game. We missed some pitches. But all in all, man, I'm liking what Brendan Rodgers is bringing to the table. Just a few more reps down here in AAA, and he'll be ready for the show. So that's going to do it for today's episode, boys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know if there's any other players you want me to play or lock on. They could be in AA, AAA. They could be in the major leagues. You know, we'll be doing it in the major leagues too. You know, but it's going to be very, very interactive as we try to build ourselves a World Series uh, competitor. You know what I'm saying? This is your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. So like I was saying, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Letting you go. I was just letting you know. I know the weather is cold, but you on your own. I ain't no regular Joe. Shouldn't left me alone. I'm in the zone. I'm where the predators roam. We at the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne. This ain't no regular poem. This ain't that regular tone.